Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss and we will learn the concept how we can calculate area of a given region with the help of double integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.3, question number 8 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region bounded by the given line and curves, then express region areas as an arbitrary double integral and evaluate the integral. In question number 8, curves given to us are parabolas, x is equal to y square minus 1 and x is equal to 2y square minus 2. First of all, in order to learn this concept, we must know what is the formula for area in the form of double integral and the formula is area is double integral over the region R, dA, where dA is a small patch of that particular region. Now, in order to plot the region, we must know how we can plot these parabolas. The parabola x is equal to y square minus 1 is open rightward. In the equation of parabola, in this equation of parabola, look at the coefficient of y square. If the coefficient of y square is positive, then the parabola is open rightward. If the coefficient of parabola, if the coefficient of square term is negative, then parabola is open leftward. So this parabola is open rightward symmetric about x-axis and has intercepts with coordinate axis as x equal to minus 1 and y is equal to plus 1, minus 1. These intercepts can be calculated from this equation by substituting first x equal to 0 and then y equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, you will get value of y square, y is equal to plus 1 and minus 1. And if you put y equal to 0, you will get the value of x equal to minus 1. And this is the graph of this parabola. Look here, this parabola is symmetric about x-axis, open rightward. It has intercepts along x-axis as minus 1 and intercept along y-axis minus 1 and 1. After this, we will learn about second parabola. The second parabola, x is equal to 2y squared minus 2. This parabola which is open right because the coefficient of y square is positive. It is symmetric about x-axis and has intercept with coordinate x's as x equal to minus 2 and y is equal to plus 1, minus 1. Please note that both parabolas has same intercepts along y-axis. And now this is the graph of both parabolas. The first parabola x is equal to y square minus 1 is, in, is indicated with green color. And the second parabola, this is the first parabola x is equal to y square minus 1 with a parabola which is indicated with green color and the second parabola x is equal to 2y minus y square in, is indicated with reddish color. Then their common boundary region is this portion as x-axis and y-axis is not involved in our boundaries. So this is our required region of integration. After this we have to calculate the area. In order to calculate area the best choice for inner variable is x because you can see from the equation of parabolas we have given the value of x in the form of y square and it is difficult to transform or it is difficult to calculate the value of y in the form of x. So the best choice in this case is x as inner variable. For this purpose we will pass horizontal arrow if we pass horizontal arrows through this region, either above the x-axis or below the x-axis, these arrows enter the region through the parabola which is indicated with reddish color, this one. So the lower limit of x variable is 2y minus 2 and the upper limit is y square minus 1. For y-axis, we will check the range of that particular variable along the axis. Along y-axis, our region starts from the point minus 1 and ends at 1. So the limits of y are minus 1 to 1. After this, we will perform the integration. First of all, we will integrate the inner variable. The integration of dx is x. For the limits, 
टू वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस टू टू वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस वन इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी विल अप्लाई अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट एंड देन आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी हैव माइनस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस वन प्लीज नोट डेट वेन एवर वी हैव डबल इंटेग्रल्स वी विल ऑलवेज सॉल्व द मोस्ट इनर वेरिएबल एंड देन ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ इनर वेरिएबल वी विल अप्लाई द आउटर वेरिएबल so first of all we have calculated the integration with the help of or with the respect of inner variable and then after this result after getting this result we will apply integration with respect to outer variable now the integration of minus y square is minus y cube over 3 and integration of 1 is y with respect to y in the next step we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus by applying upper limit minus lower limit and after this simplification we get 4 by 3 as our answer thank you so much for watching my video please like subscribe and share this content with your fellows allah hafiz